Hello, it's that college football guy here in another video. Sorry, I took a little bit later than normal to record, but uh, had some errands to run, some stuff to get done, had a spider invasion. <laughs> um, go into the laundry room to go do laundry, and next thing you know, I see the entire top half of the dryer. And where the, where the, the push, the top part is. All the way back to where the hoses are in the back to the back wall, completely covered in spider webs. Nobody noticed this during the week when I was gone? Nobody noticed anything? Yeah, and I see two black widows. So I had to get rid of them and then move everything apart to find out anything else was there and find a giant spot in the wall where they came through. So it's been a good while trying to get that covered up. So it's been bunches of fun. Now, the title of the video more conference craziness. Um, everybody saw the little, I don't know, we still don't know for, I don't know for sure. Somebody can let me know down in the comments about if, the, if it was Dan Patrick himself, which I doubt, or someone from the Dan Patrick show or whoever runs the, the Twitter that said that, uh, you know, that SMU and San Diego State of the candidates with Boise State and UNLB as long shots. Um, I don't think long shots is doing it justice. <laughs> Um, what's past long shot? Almost impossibility. Um, look, I didn't think I was going to make this video because I was didn't get to hear back from anybody I know. Because you know those who I lived out like the, I lived out in Vegas for forty years. I know quite a few people out there, and I was hearing maybe am I going to hear something? Am I going to hear something about this? Anything? Put out some, called a couple of people, emailed some messages, emailed out. You know, hear hear anything? Nothing happened. I'm been finishing dealing with the spiders. I get an email. Boise State about going to the Pac-12. Some of the people in the athletic department says, we knew this day was going to come eventually, and there's everybody else around there going, what are you talking about? As far as we know, it's Big 12 or bust. The Pac-12, we can't meet minimal academic criteria. So... Unless they're going to lower their academic credibility, which they did a little bit for Colorado. Colorado did lower their standards a little bit. Unless they're willing to do other things, I don't see them getting in. Now, as for UNLV, UNLV has been trying, has been gearing themselves up for a Pac-12 invite for 20 years. They were, 20 years ago, absolutely horrible academically. Let's that's, that's not make any... No one's about that. And then about 97, 98, it was initially proposed, and then finally, I think it was 2003, 2004, 5, they finally got approval for it to build the medical research facility and the improved research facility, the new library, all the stuff needed. Basically, what happened, uh, for those that don't know, is that they got a meeting, the uh, then... I forgot who the president was then. It was after Bob Maxson um, was president that uh, got a meeting with some members of the Pac-12s, uh, the conference itself. And what would it take to get on there? And they said, we know we're not getting in anytime soon. We're talking 25, 30 years from now. Where do we need to be? And the Pac-12 representatives at that time were very interested in the fact, okay, you're actually planning long term. To get to a goal. Okay, you know what? We'll, we'll hear you. You need to have a Tier 1 medical research facility, Tier 1 research, an AAU or close to AAU academic status. You need to have a substantial TV viewership audience. You need to have a substantial following involving your athletics for regards to attendance and viewership. And you need to be somewhat of a successful athletic program. Now, with what's going on in the Pac-12 right now, when it comes to success athletically, beggars can't be choosers. they got to take anybody. But they refuse to compromise the academics. UNLV is a tier, is an R2 research facility right now. They're not R1. They're R2. So because of that, they're not, you know, the higher end, they're not close to doing that one. They're trying to get their academics up, and they figured it might be 30 years, which would, you know, be 20, 30, something like that where that's what I was figuring that around there they're going to be gearing up to try to be tier one everything else and possibly AAU what I found out was they know 
they're not getting in the Pac-12 this time. No one from the Pac. I've talked to some people there, you know, and you and me, I know, who you know, see it's almost like it's third, it's third person hearsay, so it qualify under rumor. Nobody knows a lick about anything going on with the Pac-12. Nobody knows anything. None of this is news to everybody. As far as they know, they are still on the plan of doing what they were trying to do, which is to get to be an R1 research facility, to get to have an AAU status, to get the athletic programs good enough so that way they could be considered. But they figured it was probably not going to be this TV contract, but the one after. They might have a shot. Not this one. Nobody that the people I've talked to there know, no, no. Nothing happening with UNLV. They know right now if they do it, they're jumping the gun. They're not ready. You get people in the university saying they're not ready for the Pac-12 yet, which is actually a fair thing to say. They know they're not ready yet. They need a lot more work to do. It's going to take at least another five more years, maybe ten. They know that. I also told them, you know, whoever thought they might want to put the foot on the gas because there may not be a Pac-12 in ten years? You know, they might want to kick it up. So, so if then it's not. Will be more of the high recommending ranking academic members of the Mountain West, which will have some credibility. Who knows? Maybe they'll come to something bigger later. Okay, I, I can kind of guess that. So an SMU is an R2. SMU is also R2. So they're, you know, in that same area as like UNLV is. Boise State just came up from R3 to R2, research, you know, research wise. Um, but. I honestly thought if they're going to expand it, it's going to be two or it's going to be four. If they do four, UNLV might have a shot, and it's a very, very small one. Um, but I always thought if they're going to do anything, they go after Rice because Rice is an AAU institution. It's a, it's in Houston, Texas, so it's it does have somewhat of a TV market. It's not the biggest one. It's not the University of Houston, but it is a, a city in a major TV market. It's, excuse me, a university in a major TV market, and it does have potential. Um, so do I think UNLV and Boise State are going in? Is, well, as the time as I'm recording this, no, I don't. I still don't think, I don't think, still right now, I don't think they're adding anybody. Because all of this TV revenue I've been hearing about, all this deal right here, none of it includes expansion money as far as I know. So if you don't have the money to expand and nobody likes the TV deal now and you're talking about having to give money back to bring other teams... Well, what's that? You're already almost starving as it is, according to their standards. Now you're going to give some of that money up? Makes absolutely no sense to me. <sighs> but I'm not running the show. I'm not the one in charge of the Pac-12. I'm not the one doing this. Could UNLV down the line possibly be a Big 12 candidate? Maybe. I see them as only potentially being a Pac-12 as the fact that Pac-12 is desperate. If they're truly desperate, they're gonna, if they lose a boatload of schools and they got a backfill, I think UNLV would be one of the schools they backfill with. And I think probably at that point, they'd probably, if they lose, like, if they lose the big four, Oregon, they're talking about Oregon, Washington, Arizona, Colorado, they're probably going to have to add six to make up for it. And I could see right now where it would be UNLV, and even though they don't like Boise, maybe UNLV, Boise, San Diego State, um, SMU, Rice, and somebody else, maybe UTSA. You know, to get into Texas. But, I don't know. Like I said, as far as I know, everybody I've talked to is that, and talked to people, there, nobody even knows about anything about the Pac-12. As far as they know, they're going like, they're still moving along to move forward to try to get to the Pac-12, not this media contract, but the next one, if that's where the shot's going to be. They don't think it's going to be this current one. They think it's going to be another one. The next one, not this one. So they don't even think they're a part of it. That's kind of telling a telling story in its own right, isn't it? But uh, why don't you let me know your thoughts down in the comments. So thanks, everybody, for watching this video. This is another conference realignment, conference craziness video. If you haven't done it already, please smash the like button. Hit the thumbs up. It helps with the algorithm. It helps the video be seen more, more video, um, by, the video be seen by more people. I'm tired as hell right now. Um, and I know I'm going to be back. I'm not going to be getting much sleep tonight because i got to get up really early. And we're looking at some violent thunderstorms coming near here. So that's going to make it all the more fun. Also, the reason why I'm trying to get this one in now is we'll be getting a power and internet outage. So I figured I'd get this uploaded while I still can. Um, comment on the video. 
I don't believe UNLV and Boise State are going to be a candidate for the Pac-12 this time, and truthfully, they may not be ever. Could UNLV build up in 10 years, Boise State build up in 10 years, where the point that the Big 12 might consider them? Is it a possibility? Could it be the point where Pac-12 is so bad that the Mountain West and the Pac-12 merge? That would definitely be a possibility later on, but they'd have to really get hammered, the Pac-12, I mean. So, I don't know. Let me know what you think about that. So uh, comment uh, your opinions about this and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it already. Just past 400 subscribers, all the way to 500. That slow crawl up to 1,000. And if you're subscribed to the channel, going to be doing so. Thank you so much for doing so. Remember to hit the notifications bell. It helps. It lets me know. I should say helps me know. Man, I am not. I am so tired right now. I'm on very little sleep. Whew. Focus. It, notifications bell. It. Let you know when I post a video. I try to do one every single day. Even when I'm tired as hell like I am right now. I'm running on three hours sleep. <sighs> Gonna be fun. Gonna be fun. So thanks everybody for watching this video. Hopefully everybody's having a great Sunday. I get to leave out Monday morning. Because I came so back so late Saturday. Uh, but back at it again in the morning. So everybody, thanks everybody for watching. Be safe and please be good to each other.